everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix the black screen on your PlayStation 5 and launch it into a low resolution mode so you can actually see what's displayed on your screen. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is launch my PlayStation 5 into the safe mode menu and this will be the low resolution mode and then from there we can change the resolution so we can actually see what's displayed on our screen instead of just a black screen or no signal. So I can see my PlayStation is on, the light bar is white. What I want to do is hold down the power button and completely turn off our PlayStation. Now we don't want it into rest mode, we want it completely 100% powered off. So just hold down the power button right here and you will notice your PlayStation 5 will go ahead and completely turn off and this will bypass the rest mode. So if it is in rest mode, turn it on until the white light displays, then hold down the power button and it will be completely turned off. Now you will need a USB cable to connect your controller to the front of the console itself. So this will allow us to operate the safe mode menu now. You can't do it wirelessly so you have to connect your controller. So let's go ahead now and turn on our PlayStation 5. Locate the power button again and hold this down. You will hear one beep initially then maybe like five, seven, 10 seconds later you will hear a second beep. Then go ahead and let go and our PlayStation 5 will now be again to launch in the save mode menu. So you could be having this error because you have your PlayStation 5 manually set to a different resolution that your monitor or TV does not support. And if you are running your PlayStation 5 through a capture card go ahead and unplug from the capture card and plug it directly into your monitor. Also make sure you are on the correct input or source. So go to input or source and then switch over to your PlayStation 5. Otherwise you will get a black screen and nothing will display. Now if your problem does persist, switch to a completely different TV or monitor and for me, I was able to launch into the safe mode menu, even though this screen over here started flashing a white screen and flickering. So now I have my USB cable connected to my controller. All I have to do is press the PS button now. Then I can go down to option number two, change video output right here and select this. Now I was having a HDCP handshake issue which was causing my flashing screen and no signal slash black screen. So what I could do is go to this and go to HDCP 1.4 only and what I could do also is change the resolution. So after this it will go ahead and restart quickly and I can choose the resolution of my PlayStation 5 then. And this could be what is causing the problem for you. Now I was having an HDCP issue and for me turning off HDCP altogether went ahead and fixed my problem. So go ahead and switch over to automatic. Now for me it says 1080i is unsupported. Otherwise I can just use 2160p if you're going to be changing TVs a lot and going to like a new hotel TV or something like that just choose automatic and let it decide what your resolution is by itself. Now to turn off HDCP all you have to do is go up to the top here and go to settings then go down to system and then scroll on down until you get to HDMI and you can either turn this on or off right here and see if this fixes your problem. So if this video did indeed help you guys out, go and leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.